second time of asking. Chez Isaac lays it back off to the back line. It's sent forward. A long diagonal will test Joe Osler. Osler heads away into midfield. Billy Clifford gets a touch on it. Out to Sam Smart, the former Horn Dean man. Corner kick from the right-hand side to be taken for Chelmsford City. In it goes. Headed away at the near post by Alfie Whittingham. Out 20 yards from goal. Volley comes in. I think Lewis Dunn, Chez Isaac were hovering around that one. I think it was Isaac that got the last touch on it. Warner dives down to his right. We'll keep you updated. Out Tommy Wright on the left-hand side. Switches it out to Sam Smart. Right wing again. Can he get past Edwino Vaz again? Crosses in towards the near post. Payne flicks on, but Payne flicks over the bar with the outside of his left boot. Just narrowly fizzes over Jacob Marsden's bar. But right now, Chelmsford City are the team with a dangerous opportunity. They've got a free kick three yards away from the edge of the right corner of the penalty area. Blackwell standing over it. So too is Edwino Vaz. Will it be an in-swinger from Vaz or an out-swinger from Blackwell? It will be Blackwell. Curling right foot effort towards the head of Sheringham. Great save, Ross Warner. Bundled away again. Fantastic from Ross Warner. Diving down to his right to palm away. A strong Charlie Sheringham header. This corner kick brought to you by Snow's Group car dealership in the Waterlooville area. Clifford's taken out swinger with his right boot. In it comes from Clifford towards the head of Joe Osler. Osler's there. Marsden comes but doesn't get there. Loose to McCarthy at the back post. McCarthy laid back to Newton. Newton, first time crosses a good one. Can the Hawks get it over the line? Wool's there. Wool toes it over from all of four yards out. It was bouncing in front of goal awkwardly for the former Concord forward. It just wouldn't sit for him. And as he leant back to try and tow it in, he toes it high into the greying Waterlooville sky and chumps for the escape again, which is Jake McCarthy. McCarthy out to the right-hand side to Josh Pasley. Sam Smart's running ahead of him. Pasley just drifts past Vaz. To Smart it goes. Pasley's the overload, but Smart chooses to shoot from range. And I'm not sure if that was a shot or a cross, but either way, it troubled Jacob Marsden, who falls into his own net as he tips it over the bar. And immediately they seem to have targeted Vaz. And you mentioned, Andrew Haynes, that the youth on that back line for Chelmsford, it's really no criticism of them. But but they're a little bit inexperienced. The Hawks looking to target that. I'll hold that thought. Smart striking from range. Marston saves comfortably down to his left. Meetings between these two sides. On home soil, on, or should I say, at the Draper Tools Community Stadium, it's perfectly well balanced and surely an indirect free kick for the Hawks in the box. What a nightmare moment for Clarets. Well, there was no pressure on Zach Bradshaw whatsoever. He just coolly turned around and played it back to his keeper, Jacob Marsden. Marsden slipped just before he controlled the pass. And then as he set into panic, he just grabbed the ball with two hands. Now the Hawks will have one of the great rarities and one of the great sights in football. An indirect free kick in the penalty area, 10 yards from goal. Can the Hawks find a way through the eight Clarets players that will rush out at Alex Wall? Clifford, Wall, goal. Haven't a Waterlooville do find the back of the net. And it's Alex Wall who does it, driving it into the bottom left-hand corner from the indirect free kick. Clifford got a touch on it and Wall made no mistake. And none of the eight Clarets players that ran at Alex Wall could stop him burying that one. Andrew Haynes, your score. Haven't a Waterlooville won. Chelmsford City nil. Eventually Vaz departs, so the corner comes in. Headed away by McCarthy. Out to Edwino Vaz. 35 yards from goal. Turning and clipping one back into the area. Looking for Aluwu. Aluwu heads down. Can Bradshaw get it over the line? Great save, Warner. And then Billy Clifford slides in at the second attempt. And somehow that one stayed out, but the offside flag had gone up anyway. But what a first save that was from Ross Warner initially. It wouldn't have been the substitution I expected, but I think it's a change in shape. I think we've gone to a three back with... Uh with wing backs, which we've not seen since the turn of the year, really. So, shows that. Diagonal might find Sam Smart in the area. Smart, bundled into by Marsden. Has to be a penalty, surely. It is a penalty. Well, just as we were talking about the Clarence change of shape, a long ball was sent forward from Billy Clifford, looking for Sam Smart, who burst into the penalty area. He flicked it, dropped loose to Smart. Marsden clattered into him. Had to be a penalty after Zach Bradshaw messed up the clearance, and it was. Whistle to the lips, it's Payne versus Marsden. Payne strikes it underneath Marsden and into the back of the net. The goalkeeper went the right way, but there was too much power on the ball. And Payne has scored again for the Hawks from the penalty, penalty spot. Hamilton to Waterlooville, two, Chelmsford City nil. Andrew Haynes, another mistake, another Hawks goal. Not really the man you want striding through midfield is Mickey Spillane. He's a lot of things, but I don't think he's too powerful of a runner. He has stood in Charlie Sheringham, though. Sheringham in front of goal, squared back. Somehow that ball has crossed the line off the foot of Tom Blackwell. Well, I wasn't completely sure, but Sheringham got in behind the Hawks back line. He squared it back across the six-yard box. Blackwell hit it off the bar. It bounced behind Ross Warner's line, bounced out. And the celebrations were somewhat muted from Chelmsford because they weren't too sure it necessarily crossed either. But we do get confirmation it has. So your score, Hamilton Waterlooville 2, Chelmsford City 1. Three goals, three really bizarre goals today. 
Smarts the wrong side of Vaz. Back to Tommy Wright. Wright, can he restore parity? No, Cannons are off the crossbar. What an effort from Tommy Wright looking to restore that two goal lead instantly after the Chelmsford City goal. Smashes it off the crossbar after Sam Smart got the wrong side of Edwino Vaz. Long ball sent forward from Warner. We'll find Alex Wall down by the right hand corner flank. Can Wall keep it in play? Yes, he can. Just laid back for Sam Smart. Can he get there ahead of Bradshaw? No, Bradshaw's played it to Wright. Wright, can he finish? No, saved by Marsden. Well, almost a nightmare moment for Zach Bradshaw for the second time this afternoon. He got there ahead of Sam Smart, but in the process of making the tackle, he laid it right into the path of Tommy Wright. It just begging for the striker to hit it towards goal. He did hit it, but Marsden came up with a super save down to his left to tap it around the post to Whittingham, Whittingham up the line to Newton again, Tommy Wright's got the ball in the final third with options ahead of him, Hawks just need to keep the ball but Wright's interested in bringing it forward, he'll find Jake Andrews, Andrews skips past the challenge, can he make a, a, a three one for the Hawks, Andrews, what an effort, bounces bar down, back out to Rendell, off the bar again, how has that one stayed down, stayed out for the Hawks, well Andrews Instead of keeping the ball, chooses to shoot from range. He cannons it off the crossbar, bounces off the line, back out, straight to Scott Randell. Randell's header also comes off the bar, but I think the offside flag was up. Still, Matt Norton keeps the whistle in his lips, but finally he does blow the whistle and brings this one to a close. Hamilton and Waterlooville have won back-to-back -back home games for the first time this season. The Hawks defeated Epsfleet 4-2 two weeks ago. They've drawn with Slough, and today they've beaten Chelmsford City 2-1.